But I got some real good information that I want to share with y'all, man. I know it's a lot of people out there. They doing LS swaps. And if you are building a car for reliability, you want the best performance out of it. You want the best durability as far as a, a fuel pump is concerned. You want the best performance. Well, today, YouTube, man, we're going to be talking about a few options that you might have. You know, it goes to 72 right here, y'all. There it is right there, man, just sitting in the garage. y'all man one more again with another great video on chevy's are us youtube y'all know what time it is man we out here in the garage ain't nothing nobody can do about it we out here today you too you too y'all already know it but anyway you too man i i don't think we're gonna be working on nothing today i don't think we're gonna be messing with the 72 I don't think we're going to be messing with nothing today. But I got some real good information that I want to share with y'all, man. I know it's a lot of people out there. They doing LS swaps. Or you might just be one of them people that's going from a carburetor to electronic fuel pump. I want you to know that you got multiple options out there. And if you are building a car for reliability... You building a car, you want the best performance out of it. You want the best durability as far as a, a fuel pump is concerned. You want the best performance. Well, today, YouTube, man, we're going to be talking about a few options that you might have. You know, it goes to 72 right here, y'all. There it is right there, man, just sitting in the garage. Uh but anyway, uh, like I said, you got a couple different options out there, man. You know, moving from a, a regular plain Jane carburetor, going through, going to like a throttle body, uh, fuel injection. You have to have an electronic fuel pump. You got to have an electronic fuel pump. And it's a couple different options that you have available. You got basically two different types. One type of fuel pump is the external fuel pump. External fuel pump is the uh, electronic fuel pump that people mount on the side of the frame rail coming out the gas tank. They mount it on the side, run some electricity to it, hot wire, ground wire, and boom, it's pumping gas out your tank. That's one option. I've seen people mount these external fuel pumps as far as all the way in the engine compartment. Okay, you mount the electronic fuel pump in the engine compartment. And let me explain something to you. The further you mount your electronic fuel pump away from your gas tank, the harder that fuel pump has to work to pump gas all the way from the back, all the way from the tank. So you're making it work harder. If you mount your fuel pump inside the engine compartment, what else is it exposed to inside that engine compartment? Heat. That's right. You expose it to heat inside the engine compartment. Uh, it's also exposed to the external uh, environment, to the atmosphere. Some places it get 100 degrees. Some places it get negative 20, uh, negative 10 degrees outside. So that fuel pump is exposed to the environment. It's exposed to heat. It's exposed to cool temperatures. Okay? Uh, it has to work harder to pull that gas from the tank. 
being farther away from the tank, not in the tank. So you got a different couple different pros and cons there. Everything I just said is a con there. Now let's look at the in-tank electronic fuel pump, which is the route that I decided to go with the 72 uh, convertible Impala with the LS3. I decided to do the in-tank uh, fuel pump for a couple different reasons. I'm building this car for reliability, durability, performance, and things of that nature. And I want things to be the best. So you got to think about it. Is gas hot or is gas cold? Gas, if gas gets on your hand, it evaporates real easy, right? And it's cool. It's cold. So with your electronic fuel pump, it's submerged down inside of gasoline inside on the inside of your tank. What is that gas doing to that fuel pump? Exactly. It's keeping that fuel pump cool. It's allowing it to run cooler. Only because it's submerged in gasoline. Gasoline is cold. And it's going to help cool off your, your uh, fuel pump. Which is going to make you optimally perform better. Ain't that good? What else is it doing? The gasoline helps to lubricate the uh, pump inside the tank. Yeah, the gas lubricates it and it keeps it cool. So my thing is, is if it's got lubrication, it's got stuff to help keep it cool. My thing is, it's going to last longer. You know, it's going to perform better. It's going to last longer. It's going to be more efficient. Uh but the biggest thing is, is an in-tank fuel pump is a little bit more uh, complicated to change out. If you have a problem, you got to take the gas tank down. You got to take the fuel pump out the tank. You know, it's a little bit more difficult to install. But I'm going to tell you, you two, I'm just going to be honest with y'all, man. It is worth the extra time. It is worth the extra money. It is worth the extra energy. To go with the in-tank fuel pump. Y'all can actually check the uh, install out, man. I did a uh, in-tank uh, fuel pump install in my 72 convertible gas tank. So I put my own electronic fuel pump inside the tank. You can check that video out. Uh, actually, it's a couple different videos which lead up to the install of the uh, fuel pump inside the tank where I, I clean the gas tank up, I, uh, I uh, got removed the rust, I seal the tank, fix holes, all that. Check those videos out, man. Just click that little link in the top right corner. Boom. You can check that out, man. Uh, you can see how uh, what process I use. You can see how uh, I did it and what worked for me. If it worked for me, I guarantee you, YouTube, man, it'll work for you too. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward, YouTube. Use my videos as a guide. Uh, it'll help you out a whole lot, YouTube. You ain't even got to go spend no, no eight, nine hundred thousand dollars on no gas tank. You ain't got to do all that. You, you're going to be able to save a lot of money. You're going to feel better about it because you're going to be doing it yourself. And get what? You're going to know what you got because you built it, YouTube. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about that, a little bit about the pros and the cons of an internal fuel pump versus an external uh, electric fuel pump, especially doing those LS swaps, those uh, fuel injection conversions y'all doing out there, YouTube. Uh, it's a lot going on, so, you know, that's going to help somebody out. So, do me a favor. If you find this information useful, do me a favor, go ahead and like, go ahead and comment, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. If you need to create your, a, a Gmail account, go ahead and create that Gmail account, YouTube. That way you can lock in. We got a lot of great content coming up, YouTube. Uh, we're going to be doing some work on the uh, 2017 
SS Convertible Camaro. Uh, we got some work to do, YouTube. So it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all for locking in. Uh, I talked to a lot of people lately. Uh, I want to thank y'all. I want to personally thank y'all for subscribing. I want to personally thank y'all for checking out some of this content. You know, it's a blessing, man. Uh, please continue to check out the content. We got a lot of great videos coming up, YouTube. So we'll be back with y'all in a minute. YouTube, YouTube. We'll holler at y'all later. You too, you too.